Hi, this is Dima Brook from XP Network, and today we're going to speak about adding uh, token contracts to MetaMask because we had lots of questions how this can be done uh, f from uh, the users and uh, projects from other ecosystems that are non EVM. Um, so here I have my MetaMask open. Uh, as you can see, I don't have any NFT contracts open here. And uh, the only tokens I have here is uh, BNB, uh, which is the native uh, coin of Binance. So let's start from scratch. As you can see, I have nothing. Let's actually um, import the contracts uh, to see what I actually have. So first of all, how you can find the contracts. You can click on your address right here. And as you can see, we have a prompt that the address has been copied uh, to the memory of the computer uh, and we can paste it right here and as you can see this address has been found and uh, well because I have some uh, ERC20 tokens and Binance that's why I'm uh, using this uh, blockchain to show you right so now you see there is a drop down list that shows uh, the tokens that I owe okay so this is the token that we are interested in uh, these are some spam tokens. Uh, be very careful interacting with them. Um, I don't know how they appear. They just find your address and send you some tokens, hoping that you will interact and potentially they can hack you. So never click it, never go to uh, those tokens. Okay, no matter what they promise you, how many tokens, uh, don't believe it. Uh, it, it. It's a scam. I never bought those tokens and never interacted with those contracts. So uh, be careful with those. But this one, I know. I know that I interacted with this uh, contract. So I can safely click it uh, and it will open the page of the contract. Well, it takes some time, for some reason. Okay, there it is. Do you see it's, uh, U is, it's uh, USDT on Binance, right? So how do you know how much you have? Here, you have the token filtered by your address. And this is the transaction which shows uh, how many of those you have in this contract. Okay, so as you can see, I don't have this uh, contract inside my MetaMask. All I have is BNB, so let's actually import it. What you can do is you can go here and click uh, copy address, like so. Now this address of the contract has been copied. You can now go uh, to MetaMask and say import tokens. So here, you provide the token address and it says that it's Tether USD. Um, so this is a pegged uh, United States dollars. Okay, the contract has been found. You can click it and then you say next. And then you say import tokens. You see it has found your balance. It knows how much you have of those. You can say import tokens. Okay, and there you go. You have it. So now if you go to desktop view, you can see that now you have two tokens, the original coin of Binance and the other ERC20 token that we just imported. The second small symbol shows on which chain you have those tokens just for you to be sure and uh, to know uh, where you have them, not to think that you have them on another chain. The same thing uh, goes for NFTs. Let's go here. Let's return to the account page like so. And as you can see, the first part is BEP20, which is the Binance standard of ERC20 tokens. It's almost the same, except some minor differences in the implementation of the contract. And other than that, it is pretty much ERC20. And here you have another section, ERC721. So this is clearly NFTs. And it says that I have one such NFT. So what I can do is I can again click this and again the contract uh, supply will be filtered by my address and it will see that around 20 hours ago I received a token ID uh, 440668. The pr procedure is pretty much the same. We copy the address of the contract, we go to MetaMask, now we open the NFT tab and we say import NFT. We can provide the address here and the token ID we can provide 
from here. So 440668. Uh, 440668. And then we can click add and it will be over there. Alternatively, what you can do is for NFTs, you can go to uh, Bridge XP Network. Like so. Let's say I want to do the same using the bridge. So I select Binance as the chain of origin because then it will show me the NFTs that I have over there. I can select any other chain, it doesn't matter. And we can select MetaMask because this is where I have this account. Okay, uh, let's switch the account to the one we need. Okay, so right now it's connected to another account. And there is the one that we are working with today. You see, this is the NFT. So how you can extract the same information that we just got from the Explorer from the bridge. You click the I, which stands for information. Open it like this. And uh, there you go. Here you have the collection identifier. And you can also uh, click this button to copy this address. You can also copy the token ID like so. So for example, I'm not sure that I uh, provided the correct token ID here. And I can grab it from, from the bridge itself and paste it here. And now I click add. Let's wait a little bit. Okay, and now we can see this NFT in our MetaMask which makes it easy to send this NFT uh, to another user if we want to do so right from MetaMask. Uh, so our bridge works um, as a transfer between different blockchains. You can't send uh, inside the same chain because it's possible to do it inside MetaMask. You just click the send button. You provide the address of the receiver on the same blockchain and this NFT will go uh, wherever you want it to go. So thank you for watching. This was the video about adding uh, ERC-20 and ERC-721 contracts to MetaMask in order to see what you have and in order to easily send those assets inside one chain. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, uh, like this video if it was useful for you or dislike it if there was something you didn't like. Um, and don't forget to subscribe not to miss our future videos. Thank you. See you next week.